Good day everyone! I am Christine Combalister from BSC Italy. I am here to discuss the stubble something and its pattern. Snowball sampling, also known as chain reparal sampling, is a non-probability sampling method in which the samples are hard to find its characteristics. In this sampling technique, the existing subjects provide reparals to recruit samples required for a research study. Linear snowball sampling, the formation of a sample group starts with one individual subject providing information about just one other subject and then the chain continues with only one referral from one subject. This pattern is continued until enough number of subjects are available for the sample. Exponential sampling has two characteristics, the exponential non-discriminative and the exponential discriminative sampling. First is exponential non-discriminative. In this type, the first subject is recruited and then he or she provides multiple referrals. Each new referral then provides with more data per referral and so on until there is enough number of subjects for the sample. Exponential discriminative sampling. In this technique, each subject gives multiple referrals. However, only one subject is recruited from each referral. The choice of a new subject depends on the nature of the research study. Snowball sampling is the only way of collecting data and meaningful information. For example, No official list of names of the members. These sampling techniques can be used for a population where there is no easily available data like their demographic information. For example, homeless or list of members of an elite club whose personal details cannot be obtained easily. Second is difficulty to locate people. People with rare disease are quite difficult to locate. However, if a researcher is carrying out a research study similar in nature, finding the primary data source can be a challenge. Once he or she is identified, they usually have information about more such similar individuals. Third is secretiveness about their identity. People who belong to a cult or are religious extremists or hackers usually fall under this category. A researcher will have to use snowball sampling to identify these individuals and extract information from them. Lastly is, people who are not willing to be identified. If a researcher is carrying out a study which involves collecting information or data from sex workers or victims of sexual assault or individuals who don't want to disclose their sexual orientation, these individuals will fall under this category. Advantages. It's quicker to find samples. Referrals make it easy and quick to find subjects as they come from reliable sources. An additional task is safe for a researcher. This time can be used in conducting the study. Also, it is cost-effective. This method is cost-effective as the referrals are obtained from a primary data source. It is convenient and not so expensive as compared to other methods. Some people do not want to come forward and participate in research studies because they don't want their identity to be exposed. It makes it possible to sample populations that are otherwise difficult to access. It requires minimal planning and human resources. The subjects themselves do the footwork. For its disadvantages, sampling bias and margin of error. This means a researcher might only be able to reach out to a small group of people and may not be able to complete the study with conclusive results. Lack of cooperation. There are fair chances even after referrals, people may not be cooperative and refuse to participate in the research studies. There is a lack of control over how the sample is made since this responsibility is in the hands of the participant themselves and their own criteria for selecting new individuals. Like any non-random sampling method, snowball sampling does not guarantee presentation and there is no way of knowing how precise it really is. This type of sampling is prepared in medical practices, social research, and cases of discord. It enables studies to be conducted where they would otherwise be unlikely due to a lack of participants. Snowball sampling will reveal characteristics about a population that you were previously unaware of. 
this sampling technique can go on and on, just like a snowball increasing in size, till the time a researcher has enough data to analyze, to draw conclusive results that can help an organization make informed decisions.